coming up in just a bit, but it's a pleasure to have with us right now Dr. Ann Keating from Eye Consultants in North Dakota. So much excitement going on throughout the country. Small towns overwhelmed on the path of the solar eclipse next week in North America, going over Mexico, United States, and Canada. And, uh, well, you got to be careful. You know, the moon's going to pass right between that. You can't stare at it. What can happen if you have a direct look into sunlight? Dr. Ann Keating from Eye Consultants in North Dakota is here to tell us about that. Dr. Keating, thanks so much for being with us here on KFGO. Thank you for having me. So this is an interesting thing. I remember this, I want to say, what, 40 years ago in 1984, there was a big thing like this. And the concern, again, was kind of the same thing, right? When this comes Mm -hmm. up next week, you do not want to be looking right in the sun at it, right? Correct. And so what are some of the things that we could do? Are there things that you can get over the counter to help you if you do want to partake in this historic event? Yes, you can purchase certified solar eclipse glasses that meet the NASA International Standard of Certification, which is uh, along um, labeling ISO 12312-2. Um, but they're, uh, these are thousands of times darker than your regular sunglasses. We just purchased some for the office, and I try to pair on, um, and they're so dark that um, I can't see anything inside when looking through them. So they are, you know, much, much darker than regular sunglasses. And that's what you need to protect your retina. I hope it's not cloudy for you then. I mean, <laughs> that's for sure. We got uh, Scotty Winston who does the Solid Gold Morning Show here. He's going all the way to Texas to get right in the line of this. So, wow. Yeah. He, it's, it's a long ways from Fargo to Texas, but he, he is doing that. I know a lot of people are making the trek for it for sure. Yeah, I remember in 84, my grandfather, he loved to weld. A welding mask, I mean, I'm sure it's going to have to be a pretty dark one if you're going to do something like that. Is that something you recommend, or you recommend going with these glasses? Oh, uh, I definitely recommend going with these certified glasses. That's what um, our academy recommends and what have been tested to protect the retina, because it only takes seconds for um, the intensity of the sun's rays that are, are focused onto your retina when you're staring directly at it to burn a hole in in your retina and cause you to lose vision permanently. So you don't want to take any chances. Um, In Fargo, it's expected that we will have a 65% partial eclipse, um, which I think will still be pretty exciting. And from what I could gather, that's expected to happen uh, to peak at two o'clock on Monday, but it starts um, around one and ends at three. Interesting. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully we get, get two tall Thomas Shemansky to get nice clear skies for us for it anyway. That is yes. for sure. <laughs> uh, Dr. Ann Keating with us. I consult in North Dakota. I have to ask your advice on that. We're coming into the, you know, the spring and summer months. And for me, I, I shave my head and I don't want, I wouldn't have much hair if I grew it back anyway, Dr. Keating, but I don't necessarily always like to wear sunglasses because I look like a reverse raccoon. You know what I mean? But it Mm -hmm. is a thing that can really damage your eyes. When it gets really bright out, it is. I get chewed out all the time by my friends and family that I should be putting glasses on. I'm sure you'd probably say the same thing. Yes, the ultraviolet light does um, cause harm. to. It it accelerates cataract formation and, again, can, um, if you're staring directly at it, can burn a hole in in the retina. And so, you, you know, if you're wearing sunglasses, that just, at least helps protect from that indirect UV light. You still don't want to be staring directly at the sun, even with your sunglasses on. Um, but it does help, um, just like when you're putting sunscreen on your, um, you know, on your skin. Sure. The sunglasses help provide protection. Yeah, I mean, how quickly if people do make the mistake of looking up? I mean, it doesn't take long for your retina to get burned if you look up at the sun. I remember that ta- them talking about that quite a bit in uh, what forty years ago. Correct. It just takes a few seconds and that's it. Most wow. of us do, um, you know, even myself included, occasionally look directly at the sun for a fraction of a second. Um, but we naturally want to look away. Unfortunately, there's, you know, um, God created us to have some natural um, protection there where we avert our eyes. But during an eclipse, you don't have as, you know, you don't get that natural um, uh, brightness because it's been blocked, but you still have those intense rays that are um, getting through. So that's why it's just much more riskier during an eclipse that you'll, that you could, um, suffer a burn. Yeah. Text message in to ask him about looking at the sun. I can stop myself sneezing that way. First of all, you probably want to sneeze to get out what whatever, but that can be dangerous. Even like you said, that little quick, uh, look, I mean, that could be a little dangerous. 
Right. Just uh, in general, should not be staring at the sun. And it's a good reminder to remind our children not to be staring at the sun. This eclipse is going to take place um, during school hours. And hopefully the schools are aware of it and will either um, keep the children inside if they're supposed to be out at recess um, or provide um, proper protection if they are going to be outside. Very easy to reach. Dr. Ann Keating, again, I consultants in North Dakota. You can find them at their brand-new facility, 32nd Avenue and 45th Street South. As convenient as you can get, uh, very easy to get to. You can call them at 235-0561 or go to iConsultantsND.com. Dr. Ann Keating, thanks so much. Do appreciate it, and uh, really appreciate you being here with us here on the Drive Time News Hour. Oh, thanks so much for having me. You bet. Dr. Ann Keating, again, check them out, iConsultantsND.com. Give them a call, 235-0561. This is the Drive Time News Hour. Derek Hansen with you, Eric Johnson, producing.